Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Solving trigonometry problem two. This video uh, has the same question as solving trigonometry part problem one, but I use different method to show you. You can see compare these two video to see which way you feel easy. Let's look at the question. Yeah, read again. A survey measures the angle of elevation of a building at 12.5 degree from level ground. He then moves 58.0 meter closer and measures the angle of elevation at 36.3 degree. Find the height of the building. So we also, I'm also prepper a uh, picture. We labor the point. At the top of building, we put A. This point, which is the survey first measure at this place is B. Second place is C. The bottom of building is D. So as we know, the angle of elevation, the angle of elevation means above horizontal, above horizontal, <coughs> in solving trigonometry problem one, I show you using, working with A, B, D, and A, C, D, using right triangle, which is this one is the same side with these two opposite side with setting tangent. But this method, I would like to work in with two different triangles. One is A, B, C. The other is A, C, D. The triangle A, B, D is obliquant, which is uh, obtuse triangle, this one. Uh, in this triangle, this one is greater than, greater than 90. The other one is ACD, is right triangle. The idea is, we're looking for H, the height of building, but we don't know DC. But AC is in triangle ABC and in triangle ACD. If we can first solve triangle ABC, to find AC, then we can working with triangle ACD find H. So let's try first uh, working with triangle ABC. In triangle ABC, we can see <coughs> in triangle ABC. We have 58 meter is given, 12.5 degree is given. Looks like we only have two information, but actually you can see the 36.3 degree is next to triangle ABC, which is 36.3 degree plus this degree, this angle they make 180 degree. These two make 180 degree. That's why we can subtract 36.3 degree from 180 degree to find this angle. After find this angle, we can find that angle. And actually, it's much easier way I can show you. Actually, this angle, we're looking for this angle. This angle is 36.3 degree minus 12.5 degree. So this angle, which is angle BAC, BAC, normally we put the, the angle we're looking for is between in the middle. So this angle equals to 36.3 degree minus 12.5 degree, which will give us, this is, uh, 
23.8 degree. The reason is, as we know, these two triangles, if we label it, it say this is angle 1, this is angle 2. Because we know angle 1 plus angle 2 plus 12.5 degree, these three angles add together is 180. And also 36 degree plus angle 2 is 36.3 degree plus angle 2, also equals 180, right? Angle 1 plus angle 2 plus 12.5 degree is the internal angle, interior angle of triangle ABC, which is the sum of three angles equals 180. But 36.3 degree plus angle 2 also equals 180. So these two equal. So we have angle 2, angle 2, both sides. We can cancel out. That's why you have, see, angle 1 plus 12.5 degree equals 36.3 degree. That's why angle 1 equals 36.3 degree minus 1, 12.5 uh, degree, which equals 23.8 degree. Okay? After find this angle, then we can see what we can do. In this triangle, this one is 23.8. We label here. 23.8 degree. This triangle opposite side is 58. And the opposite side of 12.5 degree AC, which we are looking for. That's why we can use sine law to solve this one. The sine law give us is 58.0, 58.0 over the opposite side, opposite angle of sine, sine 23.8 degree equals the length of AC over the opposite sine 12.5 degree. This is sine law, right? Sine law gives us very simple pattern to let you memorize it. Opposite side over the, the sine of this angle, opposite angle equals the other side over its own opposite angle of sine. Okay, now we can solve it. We can do this. We're looking for AC. We multiply sine 12.5 for both sides. Also, you can do cross multiplication. It doesn't matter. Okay, we have AC. That's what we write. AC equals to sine 12.5 degree multiply 58.0 over sine 23.8 degree. Then we got AC equal. You can use calculate to work with. You can first do sine 12, sine 12.5, and multiply 58, and divide it by sine 23.8. 23.8 degree give us the answer is 31.11 so we got AC equals 31.11 over sine 23.8 degree okay once you got AC this is a you can label this one is 31.11 meter once you find this lens then we can use working with the other triangle. So after this one, we can do the second step. We can do this one. So in triangle ACB, ACD, because this is right triangle, and this thirty six point three degree opposite with H. We're looking for this is hypotenuse, which is AC. So we can write. 
h equals 31.11 multiplied sine 36.3 degree. Yeah. If you are used to do write the sine 36, start from sine 36.3, you can write the sine 36.3 degree equals h over 31.11. Then you manipulate get this one. And after several practice, it's better to directly go to the opposite side equals hypotenuse multiply sine 36.3 degree. And we can get answer sine 36.3 sine 36.3 degree equals and then multiply 31.11 meter, you got 18.42 meter, which is same thing we got from problem one. Different method, get the same answer. So if we keep three digit sig figure, we have 18.4 meter. So this is presented by wise guys. Thank you.